All right, for this warm up exercise, we're mainly focusing on creating windows and doors and also facade material like siding or logs or whatever that goes to the appropriate vanishing point. So the first thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is add the vanishing points back on the horizon line, okay? So a lot of times the copier cuts those off, so take a moment and create those first. And then I'm going to start by working with the windows and doors on the left side and line up top and bottom of those and take them to the vanishing point. Now the other thing we're going to start to practice is not drawing the orthogonals the entire way, okay? So I can create a window um, or door, whatever it happens to be, using the vanishing point without tracing the orthogonal all the way to the vanishing point. So I can just line up my ruler, okay, like so. And I'm lining it up with the top and I'm only tracing the orthogonal as far as I want my window to be, okay? So I'm gonna line it up with the bottom, trace it as far as I want it to be, line up my ruler with the vertical and cut it off. Okay, so note that I did not use, I lined up my ruler to the vanishing point, but I didn't trace the orthogonals all the way down. Okay, start to get in the habit of doing that, and that's part of what this practice is about. Okay, so for the doorway here, I'm going to line up the top of it with my vanishing point, only trace the part of the orthogonal that I need. All right, the bottom already goes to the vanishing point, and then I am going to cut it off. Okay, so lining it up with the vertical, and cutting it off like so. Sweet. Want to log, do you have a Chromebook? Yeah. Okay, you want to log on real quick? All right, next, on the right-hand side, I'm gonna go ahead and take this window, okay, to the vanishing point. Because it's on the right, I'm going to connect to the right-hand vanishing point. And again, I'm gonna line up my ruler, take the top of it, okay? I'm gonna trace that orthogonal as far as I want it to go, and then I'll leave it just sort of like that. Same thing with the bottom, line it up with the right hand vanishing point, take it as far as I need it to go, okay, without tracing the whole thing, end it there. All right. With this, I'm gonna go ahead and line up the vertical, slice it off, and we have both windows and doors that connect to the appropriate vanishing point, okay? Now the other part of this exercise is practicing making um, the facade material, which in this case is going to be some kind of siding, connect to the correct vanishing point. And also, we're gonna make it go behind the windows and doors, okay? So if it's on the left-hand side, I'm gonna line up each one of these notches with the left-hand vanishing point. Um, I'm gonna make my lines go behind, behind the windows and the doors you'll notice that the angle of my ruler changes, okay, because I'm lining up each of those notches with the vanishing point, taking my lines, my orthogonals behind the windows and doors, okay? So the angle changes for the siding based on the vanishing point, okay? So it's not enough to make your lines go to the ruler, you also have to adjust them, all right? So this is what I have for this side. Okay, I'm gonna take those same notches on the right-hand side to the right-hand vanishing point, and I'm going to adjust my ruler each time. Okay, so lining it up with the vanishing point going behind my window, okay. You'll notice that the angle of my ruler changes. I'm also having a hard time seeing my stuff. Okay, and I'm making it go behind that window, okay. All right, that looks pretty good, okay. The last thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is I think I'm gonna add some window panes to these windows. All right, so I'm gonna add one notch here, one notch here. And because this is on the left-hand side, I'm gonna take it to the left-hand vanishing point. So I'm gonna line up this point with the left-hand vanishing point. Then I'm gonna go ahead and cut it off. Line this up on the right-hand side. Okay, the window pane with the right-hand vanishing point. And 
and then cut it off. All right. So the goal with this warm-up exercise is to not draw the orthogonals the entire way. Always line up your ruler to the correct vanishing point, but you don't have to draw them all the way down, okay? Also, with uh, windows and doors that are on the left side, it goes to the left vanishing point. Windows and doors on the right go to the right-hand vanishing point. And then your facade material, whatever it happens to be, whether it's brick or siding or logs or whatever have you, goes behind your windows and doors. 